Hello everyone, welcome to the Engineering Projects YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, I will guide you about the uh, ASP.NET MVC helper classes. Developer are using the tool for adding controls on a any particular page. However, in ASP.NET MVC application, there is no toolbox available to drag and drop HTML control on the view as compared to the C# -sharp programming language in Visual Basic. If you want to create a view, it should contain HTML code. So, uh, those developers who are new to MVC, especially with the uh, web forms background, find th uh, this a little hard to overcome the problem. Uh, MVC provide HTML helper class, which contain different method that help you to create HTML controls programmatically. All HTML helper methods generate HTML and return the result as a string. Uh, the final HTML is generated at runtime by these function. Uh, the HTML class is designed to generate UI and it should not be used in controllers to models. There are different type of uh, helper methods such as create input, create links, create forms, etc. Uh, if you are looking uh, that uh, you want to show a name of something else uh, like here uh, we have uh, stop uh, i will stop this application and let's move on to the view folder and in view we have this for example confirm email uh, and uh, click here and it's okay so this is okay in the register part uh, here you will observe that uh, HTML dot begin form which represent that it is a helper class used to declare the form opening and closing tag with this uh, curly braces so here the form will automatically get closed and from here the form is get started uh, in this we have this anti forgery token to prevent the hijacking and data stealing and here is the validation summary this is the label for the specific email attribute which is declared on the model and we have already explained that here is the model is bind and for each attribute we are retrieving the value and by using HTML helper class we simply declare that for what we are creating and for where it will be allocated and what are the limitations of any attribute simply this HTML is a property that we inherit from the view page based class so it's available in all of our view and it return an instance of a type called HTML helper uh, let's take a look we will create here uh, HTML uh, add here you as uh, we don't create here rather than this we will create in the student okay here is a student controller and we have uh, here student index class okay so here is a student index class we will what we will do we simply uh, delete this all class uh, expect of okay we delete this all and now here return uh, action listener return view and now uh, execute in our here execute that and let's see what will be the view appears after deleting the whole HTML CHTML from the view uh, page so here uh, it's saying that index action or its master is not found okay uh, I understand that because uh, here we have written action index index action 
and in controller we have to write uh, only index because uh, what is the name of the action it will call the view file with the same name and match that the name of action is matching to the name of the view or not if it's matching then it will show the result on the screen if it's not matching it will not show the result on the screen now here you can observe that uh, the view is simply showing nothing instead of the uh, optional values uh, like here uh, here is the back to list and all that information now uh, let's create a HTML link so I will say add sign HTML dot action link and parenthesis so first it will uh, giving me the text then the action name so the text is uh, click me and um, what will be the action from here we will uh, call the action get one okay so the action will be uh, get and uh, whatever you want to pass that it's uh, totally depend on you uh, now here we have done and simply uh, okay there is uh, one other thing is that when you are working in CSHTML file you don't have to stop and re-execute the whole application because it is a front side language so it's not uh, connected with the server side uh, you can simply refresh the page to uh, get the changing to be implemented like this okay and now when I click this it will redirect it me to the next uh, page here is a controller and here is its action okay so simply uh, what you have done you have done here is the name and here is the uh, text so you don't need to uh, type the semicolon to end the line because it is the uh, HTML language not uh, C sharp or uh, server side programming language where you have to differentiate that where the line is ending or not it will intelligently uh, check that where the line is ending or not so here is a simple uh, overview of HTML helper class which I can explain you if you go into the depth there is a lot of uh, concepts in the depth which will uh, you learn by practicing the things you just simply have to practice it like at HTML what this will do and what this will do and HTML dot how many uh, things I can do with that like action form begin checkbox displays and uh, display for model display for etc and etc I hope this video tutorial is informative for you regarding HTML helper classes if you have any kind of question Regarding this, you can ask us and don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel to get more amazing video tutorials about ASP.NET MBC application development. Take care.